Oh my. I know you guys aren't going to believe me, but I have to say it. This is the best protein bar I've ever had. Welcome back to my kitchen, where today we're going to be crafting up some affordable, very tasty, good quality protein bars right at home. Now, the question I have for you today is who would overspend on low quality industrial protein bars like this? You can make the best quality ones right at home. Think about that one. And before you start complaining about, oh, I don't have time to do this, or it's way more efficient to go buy it at the store, get your butt off your phone and go cook. Do something productive, you know what I mean? And if you wanna be big, strong, and athletic like me, you're gonna to listen to my recipe today and try it out for yourself. So these are gonna be the ingredients we're gonna be using today. Obviously, we need the protein powder. Be using that, um, whole milk or any type of milk. If you're one of those soy boys, you can have almond milk or whatever you drink. Um, some peanut butter, vanilla for some flavoring. And then you got some oatmeal and honey or syrup. I'm gonna be using local raw honey because it's kind of what we have. So let's use that. And then got some fancy dark chocolate with orange infusion. The first ingredient I'm going to put in the blender is two and a half cups of oatmeal. A dash of vanilla in here. We'll put a quarter cup of milk. Two tablespoons of honey or syrup. And then two tablespoons of this creamy peanut butter. And last but not least, two scoops of protein powder. Turns out a quarter cup of milk is not enough, so add a half a cup in there instead. But while we're waiting for it to blend up, let's have a snack. Once everything's all mixed up, you're gonna transfer it from the blender into a baking sheet with parchment paper on there. Spread it out like this, and then you get your chocolate chunk, get as much as you want, break it up into chunks, and just kind of shove it into. Now that we got the chocolate and the protein bars, we're gonna pop this into the freezer for at least an hour and come back to it. The protein bar has hardened now and I'm gonna cut it up into six evenish pieces and I'll have the nutritional labels or facts for one of the six pieces up above on the screen. It's time for the taste test. Mmm. Oh my. I know you guys aren't gonna believe me, but I have to say it. This is the best protein bar I've ever had. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Smoothly goes down the throat. Oh, it's really good. And I just know it. My body's gonna thank me for this later. You guys should be honored that I'm giving out this recipe for free. I could be making millions on it, but instead I want you guys to save some money and get some experience in the kitchen. Women, I'm talking about you. And most importantly, so you can get these good quality, natural gains. If you guys enjoy this recipe, make sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys next time.